Next thing we're gonna set up is our vegetables for our um, for our raviolis. So we have some cauliflower. Just want to take it and trim some of the heavier stalks off. Make it into smaller bite-sized pieces. You know, very versatile vegetable, very year-round. Um, I love the flavor of it roasted. Really has a nice flavor. Picks, picks up a lot of flavors. I'm not a fan of making vegetarian meat-like items out of it. So, carrot. Excuse me for one second, I've got to grab a peeler. Just got about a half a carrot, just something for a little bit of crunch when we're done. Gonna make some nice long peels. Carrots, one of the harder vegetables to cut because of their density. It's gonna do a nice cut down the middle. So we lay it on the side, has some ability. Do another quarter cut, and then we're just gonna cut it on the bias. You know, again, working through, using my, using my hand as a kind of a claw, controlling my cuts, using my whole knife. Um, you know, those are things, knife skills are something that only really comes through practice. There's not a whole lot, you can't just, most people can't just pick up a knife and be like, voila, look, I'm awesome. You know, so, fennel, I'm gonna cut out that hard stem. I'm gonna cut out some more of that hard stem. But that'll be not doing nothing but give us problems. One of the things with fennel bulbs is with it being very textured this way, you want to cut across it, and you want to cut it as thin as you can get. Almost want to shave it. There's our fennel. Confit garlic, which we don't have to do anything with. This also has the oil for the dish in it. Uh, confit garlic is just garlic we take, we cook it in olive oil, um, in a pot, either in the oven or on a burner for about 20-25 minutes till the garlic's soft and starts to brown a little bit. Um, gives it a real nice sweet flavor. Also makes it, to me it makes it more palatable. The other thing that's in there is some pats of butter. We'll need these whenever we go to the stove. So we're just gonna put that all in our setup. And we got some Brussels sprouts as we get into the season. Oh, you got a little bit of sage in there too. So that should be everything in the veg prep box for that. So sprouts, just going to turn this little bit of woodiness off. And I'm going to quarter mine because I want them to brown up really nice and cook. Um, the same consistency with everything else. So as you're cutting these, you know, little heads of cabbage, things that, you know, as a child, I despised the word and because I think I had frozen or canned ones and they were terrible. But as an adult, I'll pretty much order out and eat. And I will come up when bringing them back on the menu at the restaurant at some point. So folks love me because when you go stand there and basically cut a whole case of these, it becomes very annoying. So once those are trimmed up, that's our basic for our prep there. So nice and good. And my bait or my basil. My sage, I'm just gonna take it, shift and on it, and roll it up a little bit. And just cut nice little angel hairs out of it. I think that's loosely how shift and nod translates. So there's the vegetables for that dish.